Mass readings for Sunday, October 6, 2024. 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Lectionary, 140. First reading, Genesis 2, verses 18 to 24. And the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone, let us make him a help like unto himself. And the Lord God having formed out of the ground all the beasts of the earth, and all the fowls of the air, brought them to Adam to see what he would call them, for whatsoever Adam called any living creature the same is its name. And Adam called all the beasts by their names, and all the fowls of the air, and all the cattle of the field, but for Adam there was not found a helper like himself. Then the Lord God cast a deep sleep upon Adam, and when he was fast asleep, he took one of his ribs, and filled up flesh for it. And the Lord God built the rib which he took from Adam into a woman, and brought her to Adam. And Adam said, This now is bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Wherefore a man shall leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall be two in one flesh. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Response, May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord, that walk in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labors of thy hands, blessed art thou, and it shall be well with thee. Response, May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Thy wife as a fruitful vine, on the sides of thy house. Response, May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. May the Lord bless thee out of Shaun, and mayest thou see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Response, May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. And mayest thou see thy children's children, peace upon Israel. Response, May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Second reading, Hebrews 2 verses 9 to 11. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that, through the grace of God, he might taste death for all. For it became him, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, who had brought many children into glory, to perfect the author of their salvation, by his passion. For both he that sanctifieth, and they who are sanctified, are all of one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. If we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, Mark 10, verses 2 to 16. And the Pharisees coming to him asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Tempting him. But he answering, saith to them, What did Moses command you? Who said, Moses permitted to write a bill of divorce, and to put her away? To whom Jesus answering, said, Because of the hardness of your heart he wrote you that precept. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause a man shall leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife. And they two shall be in one flesh. Therefore now they are not two, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. And in the house again his disciples asked him concerning the same thing. And he saith to them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another, committeth adultery against her. And if the wife shall put away her husband, and be married to another, she committeth adultery. And they brought to him young children, that he might touch them. And the disciples rebuked them that brought them. Whom when Jesus saw, he was much displeased, and saith to them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Amen I say to you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, 
shall not enter into it. And embracing them, and laying his hands upon them, he blessed them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.